wind is too much. <laughs> Maybe we should stop and wait out this storm. Look, we might be able to take cover over there. Anybody here? <gasps> Definitely no one here. What's wrong, boy? Do you hear that? Sorry, I should have eaten something before we left. No, not that. That! Spirit, follow that sound! <gasps> Prue! Abigail! Over here! She must be so cold. Let's get the wagon so I can check her out and warm her up. Thankfully, she doesn't seem to be hurt. Her owners must have sheared her wool and then abandoned her. <sighs> Poor girl. No animal should be treated this way. How could anyone abandon Gustina like this? Um, Gustina? Well, she looks like a Gustina, doesn't she? Sorry, I know names are your thing, Abigail. <laughs> it's a good name. Just never do it again. It looks like the wind is lit up. Perfect. Let's head back to the ranch. How many more goats has this happened to? There's gotta be something we can do to stop this from happening again. We can knock on every farmer's door in the valley until we find the culprit, and then maybe knock some sense into them. <gasps> maybe there is something we can do. Let's start a campaign. Oh, sounds fun. How exactly do we do that? We'll make a slogan and posters. So no punching. Sign me up. Me too. <laughs> oh. Careful when you shear, you might cause your ghost some fear. Yeah! Hola, senoritas. What you got there? Hi, Mr. Gallo. Meet our new friend, Gustina. We're trying to spread awareness on shearing practices. Gustina was abandoned after having her wool sheared off. Feel free to hang that across my fence. I do not tolerate that kind of treatment of animals. Yes, Perfect. thank wow. you. Wow, you're the best. <laughs> Diganme, have you girls found a new home for Gustina? I have a ton of weeds that could use some cleaning. Hopefully farmers see these posters and this banner and remember to always care for their animals, even if they're just collecting wool. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> there's more, isn't there, Lucky? Our next step should be a march. We could get the whole town involved. Who knows, we might even be able to change the law. Ooh. Abigail Stone, leader of a march. Prudence Granger, changer of the law. Wait, that sounds better. Can I be a changer of the law too? <laughs> It'll be a lot of work, but I bet we can make that happen. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Happy for the break, boy? <laughs> we deserve it. We've been doing rescues non-stop. Not that I don't love it, but not white. It would be nice to have an easy one next. Still helping, but without so many claws. The hard ones are the most rewarding. Pals, hold up. What is it, boy? <laughs> well, that was a short break. Back to work, pals. <laughs> Hey, little guy. It's gonna be okay. We'll get you out from under there in no time. It looks like the wheel broke and the donkey couldn't get unhitched, so we went over with the wagon. We'll have to see if anything is broken. Help us lift it. <laughs> He's looking good. Nothing more than some bumps and bruises. The brand inside the wagon says it's from Farmer Gael's farm. 
so the donkey must be his too. Then let's return him to his owner and get back to our ride. See, Abigail? You got your wish. <clears throat> oh, come on. <clears throat> He's a donkey. They're notoriously stubborn, and this little guy is probably exhausted on top of all that. We might need a different approach. Maybe he'll follow Chica Linda's example. No, no, Prue, that's not how you do it. Hi, cutie. I bet you're hungry, huh? And tired and cranky. I get it. I'm like that too when I fall down ravines. Well, that was my last carrot. Man, we could be at this for hours. I'm not giving up the rest of my day off for this stubborn donkey. You head up, pals. I'll get him to move. Lucky is more stubborn than any donkey I've ever seen. Why won't you move? Yes, Spirit, we got this. Okay, new plan. Girls, you found my wagon. Oh my goodness, was William with it? I am so worried. William? My donkey. I had him all hitched to do deliveries and went inside for one second. And when I came back out, he was gone. He's a slippery one. Ah, Will! Well, he clearly has a will of his own. Yeah, he gets a little extra stubborn when he's tired. Thank you so much, girls. If I never have to pull a cranky donkey again, it'll be too soon. Can you imagine dealing with someone so stubborn all the time? <laughs> oh no, am I having another nightmare? Hey, Will. Escape your farm again? Lucky will take you home. No way. I'm exhausted after yesterday. You know, Lucky, you two have more in common than you think. <laughs> Ah, you're all here, good. I wanted to thank you. But you thanked us yesterday. I know, but Will is pretty much my best friend, and I was worried sick. And as a special thank you, I brought a gift. I thought you all could rescue more animal friends if you had more space. <gasps> <laughs> it could have a first aid kit. And a grooming station. Wow, imagine that. A mobile rescue wagon? Where are my pencils? I've got to write these ideas down. Once, every blue moon on a night just like this, legend has it a ferocious, foul-smelling monster, El Cucuy, crawls out of the woods and makes his way through the land, hunched over in search of his next meal. You want to know what's really scary about El Cucuy? What? What is it? His long, razor-sharp claws. <laughs> <laughs> you could stop reading now. Weren't you the one who wanted to hear a scary story, Abigail? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Lucky. You really know how to set the mood. Uh... That's not me. Maybe we should call it a night. Yeah. El Chico! El Coco! El El, El, El Cucuy! But whatever it is, it's trying to get in. Oh, it stinks. Oh, claws, it's El Cucuy. Abigail, El Cucuy isn't real. But we have to protect the animals from whatever is out there. Right, Spirit? <laughs> Oh. 
lucky. Be careful. Well, we better get this net off. Don't worry, little skunk. We'll take care of you and have you cleaned up in no time. Poor little guy. Ugh, I hate it when hunters leave their traps in the woods. Ugh, this net is so netty. Let's get him to the grooming wagon. We'll find something there to entangle him. He might not be El Kukui, but he'll definitely spray us if he gets spooked. <gasps> so, this might take a minute. haven't even given him a name. How about Little Cuckoo? <laughs> Perfect. So, are you ready to hear the rest of the story? Definitely. Uh, okay, okay, let's go. Just as El Cuckoo was about to pull the kids from their beds, they trapped him in a blanket and threw him back into the woods for good. <laughs> yeah! Take that, El Cuckoo! Until the next blue moon, that is. Uh, pals? <gasps> so this is Farmer Giles' ranch. He needs our help with a huge grooming job. Wonder what he means by huge. Uh, like that huge? Oh, thank goodness you all came. Hi, Mr. Gael. What seems to be the problem? Well, you see, no matter how many times I bathe my animals, they all just end up dirtier and itchier than before. Don't worry. We'll have your animals feeling fresh and itch-free in no time. All right, pals. Let's get to grooming. And fancy. What can I say? We've got our system down pat. Um, does that system involve scratching after the bath? What? Uh, <laughs> I know it doesn't involve rolling around in the dirt. Hmm. Something's wrong. What is it, Abigail? Uh, so, we may have a teensy tiny problem on our hands. Fleas! No, not fleas. Ha! There it is. At Palomino Bluffs, I was taught how to make a natural flea repellent, mixing water, vinegar, and rosemary. So maybe I can use that recipe to create an anti-flea soap. Great. We've got the water and we've got some vinegar. I spotted some rosemary bushes on our way here. Be back faster than you can scratch an itch. <laughs> All right! <laughs> Come on, boy. Rosemary soap complete. Now who's ready for round two? Haha, <laughs> 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 they all look so happy and clean and well. <laughs> Not scratchy. Thanks to our handy dandy new rosemary soap. Thank you, girls. I don't know what I would have done without you. All in a grooming day's work. All right, it's time to pack up. Ah, uh, uh, girls. Seriously? Hey. Again? How? Mr. Gael, how long have you been scratching yourself? Who, me? No, oh, maybe just a couple of days, but these are just my seasonal allergies acting up. <laughs> 
apologies, Mr. Guile. The fleas went from the animals to Mr. Guile, then back to the animals. <gasps> Me? Fleas? Who's up for round three? And that includes you, Mr. Guile. Just use this two times a day for the next week to make sure you're extra free of the fleas. We surely will. Thanks again. Whoa, Spirit, what's wrong? Whoa! Whoa! Uh, whoa! whoa. Uh. Good thing I didn't take all the rosemary, because we're gonna need a bath too. And pronto. Thank you.